TIFU by accidentally giving a homeless woman and her pup $100. I have been feeling a bit under the weather and decided to buy myself a coffee. I was about to walk into the establishment when I saw a homeless woman sitting outside with her dog. I felt bad for them because I can't imagine how hard it must be to be homeless especially being this time of the year so I decided to go up to her told her Merry Christmas and handed her $10. Her eyes lit up and she started sobbing and said thank you. When I was trying to pay for my coffee, I noticed that in my haze I had given the woman $100 instead as the $10 I thought I had given her was still in my wallet. I was panicking and contemplating going to look for her and explaining my error but I just couldn't bring myself to do that. I didn't want to be an asshole especially after her emotional reaction so I just made my way home. TL. DRI gave a homeless woman more money than I thought I did. Not gonna lie. I had a very similar moment about a year ago when I thought I handed a homeless person with her dog. A folded $20. Took me about a few minutes later that I gave her an additional $100 within that folded $20 when I was gonna pay my hot pot meal in cash. Funny enough, I saw that same homeless person at a different street corner a few days later and recognized me actually offered the $100 back upon realizing I gave her too much. I already accepted the fact it was out of my hands. She needed it more than me and I have a soft spot for dogs. Now I see her once a week when I walk my dogs. She's hanging in there. Take some satisfaction from the fact that you may have had a major impact on this poor person. During the holiday season, Fate may have intervened to cause this mistake on your part because it may have been just what she needed and at the right time. I found $20 in the street one day and picked it up. I said to my wife that I'd give it to a homeless man who lived in the area next time I saw him. One day about six or seven months later, we were coming out of a diner and stood waiting to cross the road. When there he was right in front of me. I took a 20 out of my wallet and said excuse me sir I think you just dropped this and handed him the money. He instantly told me no sir that's not my money. I said well it was at your feet and it's definitely not mine so why don't you just keep it. He gave me a great smile and said thanks. My wife was nearly in tears that I had remembered to give him the cash. I said I'll give him some again next time I see him. That was just before COVID hit. I've never seen him in the area again. It pisses me off that we have homeless and hungry people in this country. There really is no need. Your error goes to your credit. Never underestimate the power of unintended good. I feel like at that point you just gotta take the L and hope it'll come back to ya. Why do US notes all look identical anyway? But as foos go, at least you can get a major bit of satisfaction out of this one. Just think about her sobbing thank you to you. That must have meant so much to her after years of being treated invisible. You possibly saved her life. Karma will sort you out. Well done you. Today her, tomorrow you. As a past homeless person $100 would have been a literal gift from all of the gods themselves. Every single one of them. For some homeless it's the difference between finally moving into an apartment or staying homeless. For some they can get a hotel and not have to sleep outside. Or just get something to eat. I was lucky enough to have a Kia Sportage to sleep in but many weren't. This could have saved her and her pup and gotten her out of poverty. It's not going to replace the $100 in your wallet but it's got to make you feel better. I did this on accident once too. Then ran into the guy again. We have a little main area on an isthmus people gather. He used it for booze. But got some clothes and food for the others around him during the winter. 
When my lady and I ran into him he thanked me so much that I got him a hotel room for a week. We visited him there. He got showered and shaved and put on his new clothes. Helped him get his veteran's father's inheritance. It wasn't much. But more than he'd had in a while. He appreciated it so much that we cared that he found a place to live and found a nice lady that let him stay and they dated a while. He has a job now and is doing well. I became homeless because of existential reasons. We met up before he got all settled down and provided what we could to the others in the form of food banks and such. Had massive cookouts and provided donated blankets and winter clothes. And several more were able to get the help they needed to pick themselves up and hit rehab. Homeless resources to get permanent housing. They helped me get back on my feet. And I'm grateful every day that the initial mistake helped those people. Including myself. You never know the impact you'll have made on people's lives who just needed someone to care. Imagine being homeless completely helpless to get a nice place to stay for the night. And you start to pray that God will help. You aren't just praying. You're absolutely begging. Maybe you don't believe in a God. But you're desperate. Then somebody walks up out of the blue and hands you a $100 bill. People don't even carry cash anymore and this person just gave you $100 out of the blue. You'd be absolutely certain that the person was an angel or at least a wonderful person who was part of a miracle. Lol that moment you considered going back for it. Not a foo. You made someone's weak. Even if it hurts. They'll be enormously more grateful for it than you would be in the long run. You gave sacrificially. That's something we all need to do from time to time. Not just give what we won't even notice is gone. But give where we feel it. Maybe we don't get to buy coffee in a shop for 30 days and have to make it at home. For 30 days you think of that person and send them good vibes. Pray. Whatever works for you. I have to push myself to remember to give sacrificially at least once a year. You won't regret it. Trust me, that was the best $100 you'll ever spend. Even if you didn't intend it. You did good. Can I buy you a meal if you're not going to a gathering on Christmas? I'm not sure if the ramen thing was a joke or what. But I'd be happy to help get you something a little more substantial for Christmas dinner. Let it return to you tenfold. Giving is getting, don't forget meant to happen no such thing as accidental you failed successfully you didn't fk up dot you blessed yourself as well as a person in need embrace it if you enjoyed this video please check out our playlists full of similar content epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears please like share and subscribe